Hello guys, I am Yadig Reddy and welcome to the series of Java for Obsolute Beginners. In this video, we will discuss about how we can download and install Java version 8 in Windows 10. So here I have the Windows 10 operating system. So you can see Windows 10 64 bit operating system. So in this operating system, I want to install Java 8 version. So to install the Java 8, first we need to download the version, right? I mean the Java we need to download. So let me open the Google Chrome. So here I will type Java SE downloads. Okay. So you can type this and click on the first link. Or you can go to official website and you can navigate from there also. Oracle.com. So the official website is oracle.com. So once the page is loaded, just click on products. Under the software section, we find this Java. So click on that. And here in the top right corner, you can see download Java. Just click on this button. So then we land in this page. Okay. So that is the same page that we came here from the search results also. So in this page, we have so many Java versions. If you see Java SE 14, Java SE 11, Java SE 8. So just ignore this one, this U261. This is a update inside Java SE 8 version. So if there is a bug in one version, right? They will fix the version, I mean the bug, and they will release the minor versions. So this is the minor version number in the Java SE 8. Okay, so you need to consider only this much, Java SE 8. So here 8 and 11 and 14 is there. So I'm just going to use Java SE 8 in this one. Okay. So let me just download the JDK. So why we need to download only JDK? Why not the other things here? So basically JDK means Java development kit. This includes the JRE and the development tools for the Java. Okay. So if you don't know what is JDK and JRE, just come down here and you can see which java package do i need to download so here it says software developers for the developers you need to download the jdk for java developers includes a complete jre plus tools for developing debugging and monitoring java applications so if you want to write a program that is also like a development only okay so that is why we need to download jdk if you want to simply run any file in your system, you don't want to develop it, but you want to simply run any application which is developed on Java. In that case, you need to download the JRE. So now I am downloading the JDK. So once you click on that, it will navigate to this page. So here Java software is available for different operating systems. Okay. So here you can see Java SE development kit 8 is available for Linux and Mac OS and Solaris and Windows. So inside Windows also we have again two versions here that is for Windows 32 bit version and for Windows 64 bit version. So my operating system is Windows 64 bit right. So I am going to download this one. So let me just click on this. So here it will ask you for a confirmation. Just check this checkbox and click on download. So in this Java 8 downloads, right, it will navigate you to Oracle login page. So basically, if you are downloading the latest version of Java from the Oracle site, it will not ask you login. But if you are downloading the older versions of Java, then it will ask you to login. So here I have the account. So I will log in using my credentials. If you don't have the account, you can create it from here. So this account is always useful, guys. If you are downloading Java or any other software from Oracle, right, you need to use this account only. So let me just enter the credentials. Then I will click on sign in. In the bottom left corner, you can see that file is getting downloaded, the exe file of Java, right? So let it complete. So now the downloading is completed. So from here, I'll just click on show in folder. So in the downloads, you can see that Java file, okay? I mean the JDK software. So I'll just double click on this. Now the download is complete, right? I want to install it. So to install, just double click on the software. So it will give me this window. Okay. So here I need to click on next. So now it started the installation. 
So when you are installing this JDK, right? First JDK will be installed, then JRE will be installed. Okay. So in this window, you can change the path. So by default, the Java software will be installed into program files. Okay. So if it is a 32 bit operating system, it will go into program files in the bracket. You will have into 86, right? So inside that folder, it will go. If it is a 64 bit operating system, it will go into program files in the C drive program files and it will create a new folder Java and inside the Java, it will create JDK folder for JDK. Okay. So first it is installing the JDK software. So if you want to change, just click on the change button. You can choose any different folder or any different drive also. I'm not changing anything. I'm keeping it like that. So I click on next. So now it is installing the JDK software. Okay. It is not installing JRE as of now. Only JDK is getting installed. So after completing the JDK installation, it will install the JRE. JDK means Java development kit and JRE means Java runtime environment. So now the JDK installation is completed and it is giving another window saying that you want to install the JRE, right? So for the JRE also, we can change the path. So by default for the JDK, I did not change the path, right? So the similar way, I'm not changing the path for JRE also. If you wish to change, you can just click on change and you can browse the folder or drive. Okay. So I'll just keep it like this and I click on next. So now this is installing JRE. Okay. It is almost completed. Now the JRE installation is also completed and it is just finishing the final steps. See now JDK, the Java development kit is completely installed. Okay. Including JRE. So you can just click on close. So now the installation is completed, right? So first let me open the command prompt. So I'll just type Java hyphen version. So I want to just check which version of Java I installed. I mean, I know that I have installed the Java 1.8 version, but I want to see whether it is showing or not. Okay. So let me just enter. So now it is saying Java version 1.8. So with this, the Java installation is not yet completed. Okay. So now if I just type Java C here, now you see what it is saying. Java C is not recognized as internal or external command. So for example, if you want to execute any Java program from the command line, we use the Java C first, then Java, right? Java C is used for compilation and Java is used for executing, right? So when you type Java C, it is saying it is not recognized as an internal or external command. Why? Because I have installed a Java version, right? But still it is not recognizing this Java C command why it is not actually recognizing it. So the reason is by default, when you install the Java, the path variables, the environment path variables will not be updated. Okay. So we need to explicitly update the path variables. The JDK actually contains some development tools, right? So for example, you want to compile a program. So you're using Java C command, right? So the Java C command, the tool is available inside the Java softwares. So the system is actually not able to recognize where the software is present. So we need to explicitly tell the system that this is the path where you need to look for this software, this Java C or Java software. Okay. So that is where this path come into picture. So now let me just open the C drive because I have installed the software in the C drive, right? In C drive program files, in the program files, Java and inside Java, we have JDK. The development tools are available inside JDK, right? So here all the tools are available inside bin. Okay. Inside the JDK, we need to go to bin. So here, if I just type Java C, so you can see here, Java C tool is there, right? Java C application. So this application is not actually recognized by the system. So now I need to explicitly mention, go to this path and identify that application. Okay. So how I can do that? I'll just right click on the, this PC. So here, basically I need to update the environment variables. Okay. So you can directly search from here, edit environment variables, or you can go to this system properties, then click on advanced system settings. And here just click on environment variables. So this will open this window. So here we have two sections, the upper one and the bottom one, right? 
So if you are updating your path variables in the upper section, it will only restrict it to that user. So here you can see the heading also. User variables for Yadagiri ready. So the login username is Yadagiri ready. So if I update anything here, only for this Yadagiri ready username, it will be applicable. Okay. So tomorrow if I log in with XYZ username, then this path will not be actually available there. So again, I need to set the path there. Okay. So that is why we should always set the path in the system variables. So if you set in the system variables, that will be applicable for all the users in the system. Okay. So inside this, we can create a path or we can just edit the path. Okay. If you want to create a new variable, you can create the new variable or you can modify the existing variable. So we need to look for path variable. Okay. So just click on edit because I want to just modify it. So I click on edit and here I want to add the JDK bin folder path. So I click on new. I will simply paste it. So let me give one more slash. So inside this bin folder, I have the Java C Java commands, right? So I'll just click on OK. 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 So now the environment variables are set, right? So let me just close this command prompt. And again, I will open that. So now let me type Java C. So this time it is giving some help menu, right? It is giving some help options. So actually it is identifying this command, right? If it is not identifying this command, it will throw you that Java C is not recognizable error, but it is not throwing that error, right? So that means this system is able to recognize this Java C command. Okay. So by setting the path, we have completed the installation. So the installation includes three steps. First one is downloading the Java software, then installing the Java software, then update the environment variables. So these three steps are included in the installation. So this is about the installation of Java version 8 in the Windows 10 guys. If you have any doubts or if you have any problems while installing the software, please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.